joining us in studio as well. So, yeah. Travis, how are you today? My goodness, can you guys turn up the energy just a little bit in this joint? That's My have you goodness, heard. I expected there to be a celebration here. Food, hors d'oeuvres, all kinds of stuff. When there is told, food. Just so you guys know, I have been on a complete 100% gag order to all media pertaining to the Chicago Bears, the Chicago media. I, I've been saying no to Hornby over there all for the last three months. And finally, I am able to create a platform where I am allowed to get on here and spread my love to the community. Eastern Panhandle, I know you have missed me. My goodness. But I am here now, and let's let's just get rid of the fundraiser stuff right away so we can get right in to the Chicago Bears, the Shepherd Rams, and then we'll finally get down to the great Dave Walker and the fact that he is about to do the most unbelievable thing in the world. The fact that we are not having some reality show cameras following the great Dave Walker right now shows once again that the Eastern Panhandle is not quite ready for superstardom. Go ahead, guys. So tell us a little bit about this uh, Bulldog Football Presents Celebrating Success Fundraiser. So we all know Coach Walker's back, and a part of Coach Walker's squad back in the day was Lori Steely, the great Adam Steely from Shepherd University's mom. And she called me. She said, hey, Dave called me and wants to raise some money and have some fun here. Is there, do you have any ideas? So immediately, the last few weeks, I have had a few setbacks in my life, okay, due to the media here in the local panhandle. Because all you guys been talking about the last two weeks is Hudson Clement. And I got to tell you, it got in my feelings a little bit. This is a Tyson Bajan town, city, radio station. Hudson Clement that. Hudson Clement that. So as soon as the idea was presented, I went right to the Chicago Bears schedule. And I tried to figure out a way when Tyson may be home. And then, because of you guys, I had to go to see when WVU was off. And just shows you how divine intervention works. It just so happens that both Hudson and Tyson Bajan are available on Saturday, October 7th. Now, what are the chances of that being even remotely possible in this day and age. So as soon as I saw that, it became a no-brainer. We ordered 50 jerseys of both of them, and we have them, and they will be signed by both Hudson and Tyson. We will have a setup there at the Mountaineer Pub, similar to the pre-draft party we had. You guys will be able to come in, bring all your Chicago Bear and WVU apparel, um, bring in your uh, your mini helmets and all that good stuff. Hudson and Tyson, Coach Walker will be there to sign these things absolutely free. If you happen to be a pimp like Mike Hornby and the WRNR staff, Mike Height and those guys over there paying handle printing, Dave Frazier at Frazier's Pawn Shop, the great Larry DeMarco, at Modern Renovations. If you're one of those pillars in the community, Jonathan Bogwell, I to say, I got Bogwell. Entire list insert. of our sponsors right here if you want to call them out. Can I please right have yeah, a copy absolutely. of those sponsors? Because <laughs> the truth is, if you're one of those guys and Martinsburg football has a dear place in your heart and you use Martinsburg football to brag about where you live, because I sure do, right, then... It's $400. Four of you can sit at a table, fight and argue about which jersey you get, whether it's Hudson's or Tyson's. Or whoever breaks out the credit card keeps the jerseys. That's the way it works. But if you're one of those people who can help the Martinsburg football team, $400 gets you a seat. Any sort of donation, whether it's one penny or more, will get you in the door to take a photo. And listen. It's not going to be long. I wouldn't be surprised if Huddy goes for two touchdowns this weekend. 
And don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, if Tyson Bajan makes an appearance right there at Soldier Field against the Denver Broncos, which would inevitably most likely catapult this man into that Thursday night game where Cullen there was. Did it? You did make that prediction, right? I've been right? saying week five, especially because it's in Washington, Tyson would be out there some way, somehow, for the Chicago Bears in prime time on Thursday night football against Washington. I, I kind of yesterday slightly moved it up because I'm like, do we really want Tyson to have to get ready for a game in a short week? Or do we want to see him before then and then take over? So, so what are you saying? What are you saying? I, I still want to see him week five. If it does happen, though, got to ask Mike to change our schedule so that we can go see him. Yeah, I think there's a good chance. I mean, it seems like Fields and the Bears' offense is clearly struggling right now. My only concern with it was, you know, Justin Fields is a first-round pick, so they're going to give those guys more opportunities. But I do think at some point, if you continue to lose games and not put up offensive numbers, and you believe in what you have in Tyson Bajan, I don't see why they wouldn't turn to him sooner rather than later. If you're losing to the Broncos, I think it's time. I mean, so, yeah, probably. It's the Broncos. The Broncos are really bad. <laughs> the Redskins looked pretty bad last weekend, too, along with my Dallas Cowboys. I believe the NFL is a week-to-week industry. Yes. So I am telling you, this week is when the beast predicts that the great number 17 will, in fact, touch that field at some point. So and He's going to turn into Brock Purdy? Oh, my goodness. Listen, I remember having this conversation with a couple guys. If you guys know who Brock Purdy's quarterback coach was at Iowa, do you guys know who that is? Not off the top of my head, no. The guy was also a quarterback at Shepherd University. Does that ring a bell now? Joe Gordon was Brock Purdy's quarterback coach. Joe Gordon comes to Shepherdstown twice a year. The first place he stops after his parents' house is to come see Derek Gallagher. So the whole time during Brock Purdy's college career, every Thanksgiving break, every spring break, every time that Joel was in this area, him and Derek Gallagher are debating who's better. I'm telling you, Tyson better, Tyson Bajan's better than Brock Purdy. This happened for seven years, right? And now we're here now. So last year, right around the third game that Brock Purdy had won, I interjected. And said, you guys shut up. Tyson is not as good as Brock Purdy now. <laughs> and it continues to be that Brock Purdy is an absolute bad dude. And he's in a great system and he is absolutely killing it. So I do love those comparisons, but I think Brock Purdy's kind of separating himself from not only anybody in late in the draft, but anybody in any draft and anywhere you step from. But listen, don't be surprised when Tyson Bajan invites his dad to dinner with Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, and Michael Jordan. That would be the four <laughs> pillars of the community in Chicago here soon. Like Speaking that. of the Week 5 game, do you know, I-, I wasn't sure how much involved you are with the trip from Martinsburg, if any. No, I know. What are you talking about? Can you explain it? That uh, Buck Hoffmaster's doing. Oh, trip. no, I don't like Buck Hoffmaster. I don't play with Buck Hoffmaster. He's not allowed anywhere around. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Buck's my guy. So, yeah, he called me, said, hey, you think we could put together a bus to go there? I said, Buck, you can do anything, my man, but don't just get one bus. Get ten buses. Buck got four buses, so we're going strong. It's up to four now. Four people okay. we have. Is it two, two on sale? That no, the it is that I was absolutely to ask. If it was closed. Cut off or okay. Not only is it closed, but don't call me after Tyson throws three touchdowns here in this weekend and try to act like you knew your whole life. If you ain't on that tour bus, that's two hundred and fifty-six people rocking the modern renovation Tyson Bajan orange. T-shirt with the big Chicago Bear in section 121, 310, club level. We are going to have 256 Tyson Bajan shirts all setting together. And then we're all going down to the field in the middle of the fourth quarter. As soon as the game's over, we take a photo with Tyson on the field. 
eat your heart out if you are not on that bus or one of those buses. All right, let's get back now here quickly to the Bulldog football celebration of success. As you said, October 7th, Mountaineer Pub, 7.30 start time, $400, correct? $400 is just for the pimps. The pimps and the VIPs, baby. You do not. It is absolutely free to our entire Eastern Panhandle community. All I don't you want to get the four hundred dollars out there because it goes to Martinsburg football. Well, exactly. And listen, everything goes to Martinsburg football. So just know that the generous donation here from WRNR, the generous donation from the Mountaineer Pub and the great HD Boyd, along with anybody else that just wants the jerseys. But listen. We only have 40 tables. 23 of them got sold the minute that we put the thing out there. I believe now we're probably down to seven or eight total tables even left. So that will that ship is about to sell as well. If you really want those jerseys, you need to call Miss Steely immediately. We have the link in the um, flyer. Hopefully it'll be in the comments soon. But we have her phone number, email, some way to get a hold of Lori Steely. It's right there on the flyer. Yep, yeah, for those that are looking on TV10 or our Facebook page, uh, you can see that number on the screen now. But for those tuned in on the radio, if you want to Contact Lori Stilly. It is 703-888-9058. And feel free to prank call Miss Stilly as well. She's cool. <laughs> no, She's no, got no, a no, no, great no. attitude. Are they Stitch jerseys? Are they Stitch? Yes, they are. There you go. I yes, have a they are. They're really nice. On my phone. Of, Custom are they jerseys, jerseys, Clement, they are extra large only. So just so we could get the right price. And then the $400 uh, for that table of four gets you both jerseys, not one or Both the jerseys and four seats. So keep that in mind. If you want the jerseys and you want to donate the four seats to some diehard um, Martinsburg football fans, I got a lot of them I eat breakfast with every morning. These old timers, they ain't giving me no $400, but they'd love to have a seat at that party. So if you're listening and you want those jerseys, we'll get them to you. There's only a few left, but by all means, if you can come out, bring your stuff, say hi to three. I mean, listen, if you're a young football player, then listen, th the story's right here. Listen, you're here in Berkeley County with absolutely the greatest high school football coach that has ever lived. And then there's living proof that two guys, just normal, everyday, super dedicated, hardworking athletes with not a ton of skills that you can just see by looking at them. You got to know that these two dudes did it the right way. They worked really hard. A guy like Hudson betting on himself and having these other scholarships and taking his skills to WVU when all the haters are thinking it was a bad decision, should have stayed and went to Shepard or, you know, everyone's, everyone knows what you should do except the two dudes that get up every morning, every single day and kill it. And there's an example of three of those people there. They're in your community. They love this community. Hudson Clement and Tyson Bajan are two perfect examples of what happens if the high school coach and the high school program have an excellent place for you to hone your skills. And then the sky's the limit to uh, for anybody that wants to play. I mean, I saw the stat the other day. It was Stetson Bennett, Tavon Austin, and Hudson Clement. The only three athletes. Not Stetson Bennett. That's uh, Stedman I'm Bailey. sorry. Yeah, Stedman, Stetson, Bailey. Stedman Bailey. Yes. <laughs> so these three studs are the three guys in West Virginia history mm -hmm. that have had over 175 yards and three touchdowns in one game. So listen. Come out, say hi to the guys. The money is not important. Trust me, there is a bunch of studs there in this community that are going to buy these tables. If you want to be one of them, then by all means, we'll take your $400, give it right there to the Martinsburg Boosters. If you're just a guy that's got $12 in his pocket and he knows me, knows Hudson's dad, knows Hudson or Tyson, and you just find the oldest Bears shirt that your granddad had, bring it in and we'll sign it absolutely for free. And listen, what would be awesome is if there's a line of 630 people at 7 o'clock trying to get in the Mountaineer. That that's would be amazing for Martinsburg football. If you're not able to donate 400, if, if you just want to make a donation, can you, can you make a donation of any amount? If you I've got news for you. 
you can always make a donation anywhere in the world, okay? So that is a ridiculous comment. Not what you said, but just to let us know, by all means, Martinsburg football is an amazing program. If you have the financial situation to get behind it, they will take your $10 all the way up to your $2 million, which is what I plan on getting them when we build that indoor location here in about five years. I like the sound of that. Uh, Follow-up question for this event. I think I saw on Facebook, maybe it was your post or somebody else's, if you don't have the $400 for the table, there will be other opportunities, such as a silent auction, I think, is what I saw. Do you know anything? Yes, there will be. There will be all types of items there for the silent auction. And, listen, you can go grab a $5 T-shirt from the Goodwill. If it has a Martinsburg football logo and or Chicago Bear logo and or WVU logo, you bring it in there and we'll get that signed. You'll have a free photo op to take a picture with those three pillars of the community. So there's absolutely no reason for the entire community. If you're free, you know where the Mountaineer Pub is. HD's done a great job of letting us use the place and it will be set up beautifully as you guys seen we ran the event um for the pre-draft party so by all means come check it out if you're one of those haters who thinks four hundred dollars is way too much well then just don't come <laughs> that's it it's very simple again one last time the bulldog football celebration of success with coach dave walker hudson clement of west virginia and chicago bears quarterback Tyson Bajant, $400 gets you a table of four autographed Hudson Clement jersey. Tyson Bajant autographed jersey as well. Contact Lori Stilley at 703-888-9058 and make checks payable to Martinsburg High School football boosters. Travis, appreciate the time.